Hello Tamers, Russ Mero here and we're going to be kickstarting the new year with an opening of EX04 Alternative Being. As usual, box topper for the end, now let's go! Pretty late on this set at this point, but let's see what I pull. So we're starting off with Heaven's Judgment, the new Gilmon, red purple mainly for Chaos Gallant support but works pretty well in regular Gallants as well. Now we have the new Gaussmon for the Fusion Twilights and Blue Flare deck featuring Grey Knightsmon, the new fake Agumon Experts. Trident Gaia, signature option for Victory Greymon, Yellow Blue Renamon for the Kuzuhamon deck followed by Black Agumon for the Alter S Alter B deck. Not a very big fan of the deck's playstyle, but those are probably still the two cards I want to pull most from this set, just for how cool they are. Followed by Antilamon for the Alliance deck. Missimon, Domon, and ending off with Terriermon Assistant. I've completely forgot though, do we end off each EX booster on two rares? Well, I guess we do, and we are ending off with the brand new Gaiomon, which is an extremely suspicious effect that allows it to evolve into a Digimon with Gaiomon in its name that is play cost 13 or higher at the end of your turn. Now, while this perfectly synergizes with the previous Gaiomon that we got, this also teases at the possibility of a future Gaiomon Ito mode as well. And that was our first booster. Second pack. Okay, new Galgamon. Really happy to see this new support for the deck and looking forward to Mirage Galgamon Burst Mode in BT13. And there we go, Geo Greymon for the new Masaru deck as well. Black Greymon, Peckmon, because we finally got Ravemon and Ikutu as well, but for now, still very little support. I am really looking forward to how the deck will flourish in BT13. Next, we have the good Antilamon, the Tainted Hero, a reference to a card from the old DCG. Now the Black Gabumon, Normal Terriermon, Chocomon, Red Yellow Agumon. This is Ravemon signature option card, Ameno Ohabari or Celestial Blade. Followed by a new Metal Greymon. Designed to be used as Digicross material for Grey Knightsmon because it gives a Grey Knights exclusive inheritable. Pack 3. Well, I guess other than the Alter S and Alter B stuff, the next set of cards I'd like to pull the most are from the new Alliance deck because I really like their gimmick. And now we have Full Metal Blaze. This is Jeet Garurumon signature option card. The new Diddly Axmon, which is not bad support for just the Twilight Dark Knight deck as well. Lopmon, Male Bergermon, Black Garurumon, True Aemon, the new Skull Knightsmon, Wendigomon, Pinamon, Ravemon's a Digitama, the new Gaumon, I really like this one. For the longest time, I've always wanted a card in the Gaumon deck that can force the opponent to draw on play. And we finally got him. On play, both players draw one card. The gold Vidramon, very nice to see him in this game finally. Followed by... Oh, that's our ult right there! And it is Black Seraphimon. A bit anticlimactic to pull our ult first, especially one of the cheapest ones, basically the bottommost tier. But I gotta say, that art is completely badass and I don't mind this at all because I really love Mercurymon's character from Digimon Frontier. So I will take that. Pack 4. Still looking forward to what our SRs can be. Even though we have had our secret alt slot taken up, we can still definitely pull the SR Alter S. Because man, that I would rather get him in his basic SR form rather than the alts because that artwork over there is much better. Black Rapidmon, very cool. Yokomon, another gold Vidramon, and followed by Ikto, the tamer from Savers, partner with Ravemon and Falcomon. Pack 5. I'm still a bit conflicted on whether I should include Ikto and Ravemon in my EX04 tournament because the Ravemon deck honestly just doesn't have any pieces just yet. Two Antilamons in a row, Light and Dark. Here we have Gaia Reactor, Gaiomons, a new signature option card in this set, which can delete all Digimon on the field except for one highest play cost Digimon on both sides of the field. Pretty intense. Dark Male Bergermon. Sorry, I meant Dark Male Dramon, which has a very interesting effect which gives both itself and all of your Digimon with Nightmon or Nightsmon in their names unblockable during your turn. Although the downside is just that he does not have Twilight or Blue Flare in his trade, so he's not searchable. But I mean at play cost 4 and being part black, I think he does have sufficient synergy of the deck to do some shenanigans. Here we have the new good Cherubimon, followed by Kres Garurumon, our first SR. Well, who knows, maybe we'll get Blitz Grey and Alteres as well. Pack 6. 
Yep, so with so many cards in an EX pack, we are already starting... I mean, so many cards per pack, and the total pool being less than BT sets, we are already starting to see a lot of repeats. The new Black Growlmon, the new Black Metal Greymon, the new Dark Knightsmon, and the new Agumon Expert, which is a pretty interesting effect that allows you to recover when your opponent plays a Digimon by placing a Digimon of an equal level from your hand on top of your security. Pack 7. Okay, Agumon, the fake. Black Gargomon, I believe we haven't pulled that just yet. The new Black Tsunomon. Twin Tamers, Kiriha and Nene, which I guess kind of contribute to the Grey Knight's deck a bit, but personally I feel not by much. And whoa, wait, my prediction came true! We are really getting Blitz Greymon immediately after Kress Garuru, so maybe we'll wrap this up with Alteress. I mean, he is the cover Digimon of the set, and ever since my uh, earlier Yu-Gi-Oh collecting days, I've always loved pulling the cover monster. There's just something about them that makes them feel special, you know? They're like the flagship, just kind of like Tigrex or Lagia Cruz in Monster Hunter 2 and 3 respectively. Digital Translator, a pretty interesting card that allows you to transform your level 6 Digimon into an alternate form of itself as long as it meets all the requirements, of which there are quite many. Okay, the new blue Greymon, here we have the evil Cherubimon, and Chaos Gallantmon is just a rare. Because our new Gallant SR turned out to be Medieval Gallantmon instead, and while it is great to finally see him in the card game, I think his effects are just kind of okay. Turuyemon, Geo Grey. Yatagaramon, I think this is our first time pulling him as well. And here we have the stupid busted option card, the Gold Beast Blade and Crimson Drag Bullets, which allows you to, if you have a Kress Garurumon on your field, warp evolve your Agumon or Greymon into Blitz, and if you have Blitz Garuru, warp evolve your Gabu or Garuru into Kress, which will of course ultimately lead to an instant Alter S. Holy Cherby and another copy of Kiriha and Nene. Well, let's just put them down there. Maybe we'll get Grey Knight's Mon instead. I guess I don't completely mind because while I initially did not like Grey Knight's Mon's design from back in the Cross Wars DS games, I believe, uh, the artwork really makes him look awesome. And that's just another thing to be thankful for with the Digimon card game, you know, just giving new artistic interpretations of all this Digimon that we've known very little about. Rise Greymon Rare. Whoa, double alts? Is this supposed to happen? I don't know, but we just got our second alt, which again is only for a rare tier, which is Chaos Gallonmon. So now we've actually pulled two alts so far, the Dark Seraphimon and Chaos Gallonmon. Neither of which are super valuable, but make up for it with their super badass artwork. So I guess I won't really be doing a giveaway this time around. Nothing uh, too epic that I pulled. I mean, of course, we still have one more pack down there, as well as the box topper, which could have Zwart, I think, right? Black Award Gralmon, and we got Henry and his sister, followed by. Wait, is that? It is another SR, Jeet Garurumon. So that puts us at three SRs and two alts. Okay, I guess that kind of adds up, just that oh, the one, the second alt feels a bit extra. I'm not sure if it should be there now. But now moving on to our final pack. Here we go. Alright, full metal blaze. Painted Hero, Good Antilamon, Geo Greymon, Wendigomon, Skull Knightmon, Terriermon, Black Garurumon, Black Wurgarumon, right, I feel like we didn't get this guy either. Love the art, by the way. Koki always does a fantastic job. Pinamon, Rise Greymon, and our final card in this booster box of alternative being is going to be. Well, at least we get plenty of tamers. But of course, we still have our box topper pack remaining. At this point, I think I'll just be happy to pull a tie and man since you're the only tamer I haven't pulled from this set just yet. Okay, here we go. And our final pack, I mean true final card of this set is going to be... Uh, full art, uh, Kiriha and Nene, and that puts me at three copies. Guess I gotta build Grey Knights. Okay, so that'll be all for my booster box opening of EX04 to kickstart the new year. Nothing too epic. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Let me know what you guys think about these new cards in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more Digimon booster box and product openings on the day of release when I can make it. And with that, I hope to see you guys in the next Digimon video.